A director is the driving artistic source for a motion picture. It is the director's responsibility to communicate to the cast and crew members all aspects of the filmmaking process. Thea Sherrick began her career working at the National Theatre in London. Miss Sherrick has gone on to direct numerous award-winning theatre productions and is making her feature film directorial debut with Me Before You. Hi, my name's Thea Sherrick. You're watching Made in Hollywood. And here is a scene from Me Before You. No, stay. Tell me something good. When I was little, my favorite outfit was my bumblebee tights. You are a renowned theater director, so this is your first feature film directorial debut. Was it challenging? Was it a lot different for you? It was very challenging. Um, it was, of course, it has its own um, things that it brings with it, but being a director is the same thing. It doesn't matter what the medium is. The most important thing is you're working with the actors, which for me is always the journey that they go through is the most important thing. And you're telling a story, but telling it through the eyes of a camera is very, very different, of course, to doing it on stage. Was there anything new that you had to learn because you're telling it through a camera now and there's so many other people involved? Yes, you had to really learn to trust the camera. And the camera has its own way of finding things. And it will see things that you cannot see to the naked eye and find things that you don't realize are there. Cut there. Cut there? High five. Now So the casting process, for example, is very different when you're working in film versus theatre for exactly that reason, because people, the effect the camera has on them is completely unique. Bumblebee right? Black and yellow stripes. Oh, dear God. Didn't you ever love anything that much? Yes. Is it awesome that you also got to have Jojo as your screenwriter because she obviously, she wrote the book, so you can really trust that she's going to keep all of the important things in the script? Her ability to leave the book behind. She never ever brought the book with her. It was always me that went back to the book, which is pretty exceptional, I think, for an author. And she had a willingness also to find within the story whatever it was that the film needed. And she didn't worry about if that was different to the book, so long as there were certain aspects that are so important to the fans and so long as we were integral to the story and to the spirit of the book that was the most important thing for me use the time he's got left show him how good his life can be we've barely left the house in two years we have tried yes but we haven't succeeded will needs to be allowed to feel like a man when did you know that you wanted to be a director i think it was probably back when i was a teenager and i started going to the theater all the time and I knew pretty quickly that I didn't want to be an actress, but I loved being able to see what I thought worked and what didn't work. And then there were just certain actors that I always wanted to work with, and that became the beginning of the journey for me. Can I take you somewhere? You are so going on a date with Will Trainer. So once you made that decision, I want to be a director, what exactly did you do? I didn't train to be a director. I was an assistant to various theatre directors, very, very different ones who taught me various things, mostly how not to do it. And then the last one said, you know what, you can't be an assistant anymore, you need to go off and do it on your own. And so I entered a competition and that was kind of how it began. So you never actually studied filmmaking, you just learned on the job. I didn't learn theatre either at the beginning. Do you ever feel like now that you would want to go back for formal education or training to assist you on the job or do you feel like you kind of know everything that you need to know now. I don't think you ever know everything, but I think a bit like the University of Life, you, you learn best by doing it. And with this kind of job, that is without question the best way of doing it. Lose the scarf. If you're gonna wear a dress like that, Clark, you have to wear it with confidence. Only you, Will Trainer, would tell a woman how to wear a bloody dress. What advice do you have for any young aspiring do that. directors? Just get Just out there it. and do it. You can, I mean, studying is fantastic, obviously, but if you ever get the opportunity to do it, you have to just do it because you learn from your mistakes and that's how you grow and you move on from there. So never be afraid to give it a go. For teens who really want to succeed, not only as a director, but in this industry, what other qualities or characteristics do you think they really need to have? You have to have passion. You have to want it more than anything. And you have to be prepared to work extremely hard. I don't want to go in yet. I just want to be a man who's been to a concert with a girl in a red dress. A few minutes more. Wait for me to come home. Made in Hollywood.